overflows relationship destroys love relationship is a structure and love is unstructured so love relates certainly but can never become relationship the relationship is a structure love is a moment to moment process it is the way that you express yourself in a particular situation to a particular person it is like a flower has blossom its beauty and fragrance is spreading so in a way the flower is ready to relate to the one who is ready so when a poet comes he sees the flower something poetic emanates from within him him this is the way of relating when you are relating something to a person out of love something begins to happen within that person and he becomes a little more open his creative instincts begin to surface in a slow manner remember love is a state of being the and it is the state of flowering the moment the flower blossoms then you come to a state so when the flower blossoms its beauty its fragrance its luster its delicateness is the state of being a flower if no unblossomed flower will be called a flower it will be called a bud it has potentiality to blossom but it has not yet blossomed the, there is it has its own beauty but we are not so much attracted to its beauty then a flower that has blossomed so love is a state of being not a relationship there are loving people there are unloving people unloving people pretend that they are loving and they create relationship they pretend to be loving through a relationship loving people need no relationship they simply know the art of how to relate how to interact with a person out of that state of lovingness be a loving person rather than in a love relationship because relationship happens one day and disappears next day they are like flowers in the morning they blossom by evening they are gone they wither away be a loving person but people find it difficult to be loving under all circumstances and situation to everyone a beggar comes to your place you are studying whether he is a professional beggar or not every time he comes whatever it is you give him a dollar or a penny or something there then you are relating to the person people find it difficult to be a loving person in all circumstances and situation so they create relationship relationship is fixed in a relationship you have to behave in a particular manner in relating you are you have a respect for the other and you are the relating out of your lovingness 
when you enter into relationship, you can be fool yourself that now I am a loving person. Relationship may be just one of monopoly, possessiveness or exclusiveness. A relationship may be just out of fear, out of security. It has nothing to do with love. Relationship may be just a kind of a security, financial or something else. Relationship is needed only because love is not there. So relationship is a substitute for love. Security is a substitute for love. Become alert that relationship destroys love destroys the very possibility of getting birth or blossoming. The moment love becomes a relationship, it becomes a bondage. Because there are expectations, you have to behave in a particular manner, you have to follow a particular code of conduct, there are demands and there are frustrations as well. And in addition to that, there is an effort on both sides to dominate one another. Relationship is based on domination. It becomes a struggle for power. Who is capable of dominate the other? Two persons can be loving together. The more loving they are, <clears throat> the less is the possibility of any relationship. You know in different circumstances and situations, every moment existence brings a new circumstance or situation for you. Your acceptance to it is the way that you are relating to it. The more loving you are, the more freedom exists between them. The more loving you they are, the more is the possibility, the less is the possibility of any demand, any domination, any expectation. When you know how to relate, you are only sharing your presence. A flower does not demand anything from the one who is standing in front of him. If a poet is standing in front of him, seeing the flower something such emanates within the poet, he composes something, but the flower does not demand that I have been responsible for your poetry. It never says so. But the, in relationship it happens. Each one of them feel that it is because of me that this is happening to you. The moment anyone begins to tell me that it is because of me that their life is changing, no, it is not. I am simply a catalyst. A flower is a catalyst in whose presence something happens to a poet, to a painter, to a philosopher. In a master, an awakened one is a catalyst in whose presence your own alchemical process begins and something begins to happen to you. There is no expectation on the part of flower. There is no expectation from you on the part of the awakened one. He is simply operating, relating out of his own inner flowering. And that in itself is a fulfillment for him. There is no expectation, there is no dominance. 
and naturally there is no question of frustration as well. If my presence appeals to you, I will create more opportunity so that you can have it more. If it does not, as yet, then it's your choice. So it is very important to know that relationship destroys love and if love has blossomed, you have known the art of relating to anyone and how to live your life under each circumstance and situation when it comes. Enough.